I don't know how you two screwed this up, but I do know you just wasted a year of planning. Hey, moron, I'm talking to you. Look at me. The key to the whole operation was the yellow jacket. Now, thanks to you two clowns, we're back to square one. Wait a minute. Now, how did we screw it up, huh? The guy never showed. Maybe you had your face in a crossword puzzle as usual, and this one, he got so bored, he fell asleep. I'm going to assign you two a case I know you can handle. Look, Flynn. Captain Flynn to you. I want you to find the piece of shit responsible for the hit and run of an eight-year-old boy. The initial report from the street sergeant on duty stated that the parents were notified, but were too distraught to be of much help. He did manage to learn that the boy was riding a bike, but there was no bike found at the scene. Assuming the parents are right, you think the perp took it? Could be. He probably thought there'd be trace evidence of the bike left on the vehicle. Look, Ben, I know you and I have had our differences over the past couple of years, but I also know this is the kind of case you're good at. I got a grandson about as old as this kid, and it would mean a lot to me if you could find and nail this bastard. You guys got anything new on the hit and run? I'll give you a call back. Not much. We're still waiting on the report from the lab concerning the glass Ben sent him. He said it'd take a while because they're really backed up. Any witnesses? No, that road doesn't get much traffic. Still no sign of the bike? All right, stay on top of this and keep me informed. There's no bell on the bike. So? Ben said there was a bell on the bike. And? Nothing, I guess. Something bothering you, kid? Captain, I just got the report back from the lab about that piece of glass I turned in from the scene. Matches an 08 Mustang. That was a pretty popular year. It will be tough to trace. Jack, I know this case is very close to you with what happened to your wife. But you have no evidence linking this group to her disappearance. And this case is playing out entirely different. This is your new partner, Erin Thomas, transferred from the New York office. She's transferred here specifically due to extensive background in missing persons. God, this is bullshit. You know I work in these cases alone. I need some fucking princess tagging along. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. You don't have a choice in this matter, Jack. Brief her on the case and get her up to speed. I want to see some results by the end of the week, or else it's both your asses. One thing we're good at, honey, is killing each other. We believe the killer has had some form of medical training, either in the military or regular hospital training. What led you to believe that? The amount of cutting involved. The only cuts to the victims were fatal ones. No secondary cuts, bruising, or other damage. So the killer knew exactly how to kill these... Look, anyone can kill someone. Hell, you can do it with a pencil if you wanted. But this guy was too precise, too clean. He bled these people out like... like... Like he wanted to watch them die? We're done. I've already said too much. Could you please state your full name for the record? Yes, Tupac Amaru Shakur. How do you define rap? What constitutes rap? Um, it's poetry. Let's say from 17 on. I don't believe that is relevant to this. He has admitted he uses it. I think it's absolutely relevant. You're trying to make him out to be a choir boy. I want to know what he's really done. I haven't made him out to be anything. <laughs> really trying to make me out to be a devil. Have you ever been involved in any gangs? What? Sources tell us you've been associated with the California gang, the Bloods. It's, it's obvious you're not here in search of justice. Therefore, there's no point in me trying to prove anything to you. No justice is being served here. With a little ghetto gospel.